Making connections involves comparing and contrasting. There are three different ways to use the strategy of making connections. Text-to-self connections require the learners to make connections between the text and their own lives. Text-to-text -text connections require learners to make connections between different texts. Text-to-world connections require learners to make connections between the text and what they know about the world at large. Teachers can help learners make connections by giving a good introduction to a text, which foregrounds the kinds of connections that will be made. Watch how this teacher introduces a social sciences lesson, explaining the connections that will be made. Today we will read a text about ancient Incan burial rituals. We will make connections to the burial rituals we have read about in ancient Egypt. We need to look for the similarities and differences between the two. Teachers can also help learners to make connections by asking questions that prompt learners to make connections. What similarities do you see between ancient Inca and Egyptian burial rituals? What differences do you see between ancient Inca and Egyptian burial rituals? What kinds of burial or funeral rituals do we follow in our society? How do you think funeral rituals are affected by the COVID-19 pandemic? The teacher should model the different types of connections to help learners see what this looks like in practice. First, let's look at text-to-self connections. Text-to-self connections help the learners personally relate to text. This can help them make good guesses about the feelings, decisions, and motivations of characters in a story. When the strategy is used with non-fiction texts, it can help learners understand how the text is relevant to their own lives. Let's see how a life orientation teacher helps learners deal with self-doubt and confidence. I know that I can win debates against local schools, thought Moses. And I am the captain of the school debate team. But I have never competed against bigger city schools. What if I don't understand the topic? He thought to himself, nervously. What if my brain goes blank? What if the others are smarter than me? It seems like Moses is doubting himself. He is wondering if he will be as good as the other learners. I can make a connection. I've had this feeling of self-doubt too. When I went to university, I wondered if I would be as smart as the other students. Text-to-text -text connections help learners understand how different topics and concepts are related. When learners make text-to-text -text connections, they compare and contrast new knowledge to something they have already learned. Watch as this grade 2 teacher helps learners to make a text-to-text -text connection. Today, we are going to read a story about three little orangutans. In the story, the young orangutans all have to leave home and go find their own homes. Does this remind you of another story we have read? If so, which story? And what connections can you make? Text-to-world connections help learners compare and contrast what they read to what they already know about the world. Let's see how a grade 9 history student makes a text-to-world connection for herself. Oh, so in 1976, students protested against Bantu education by marching with banners. I have seen a lot of this on TV recently. There are many Black Lives Matter marches in the United States for racial equality. I think that marches must be an important tool for demanding change. When learners are skilled at making connections, they are better able to apply past knowledge to new topics and to integrate new knowledge into their existing knowledge or schemas. Making connections helps learners to relate to and to think more deeply about texts. These are important critical thinking skills.